Hey guys, Lisa Lane here in Arizona Stadium where the Wildcats are about to take on the Golden Bears. This is a huge game for us tonight as it is our first conference matchup. Arizona Stadium was packed and excited coming off the huge win over Iowa and getting ranked number 14. The team appeared focused in pregame, however later we had watched them fall flat against California. Could have been due to a Hawkeye hangover or possibly underestimating the Golden Bears since they did lose to Nevada a week before. But lucky for Arizona, Kreiner who was out with an injured toe last weekend was back and ready to be Nick Foles' clutch guy. Looking at the game, it was clearly a defensive battle. Cal played tough shutting down Arizona's prolific offense and only allowing 99 rushing yards. Arizona's defense was no easier matchup for California. Kevin Riley was never allowed a touchdown in the red zone, and all of their points came from three field goals of 25, 40, and 23 yards. The main action came down in the fourth when Arizona was down 3-9 with less than three minutes to go. Nick Foles bombs a 51-yard pass to Jerron Kreiner to set the Wildcats up on Cal's 12. Nick Grigsby then rushed for six yards, and with an offside penalty, it was third and one for Arizona. Finally, with one minute and 11 seconds left, Foles hits Kreiner one more time for a three-yard touchdown pass that sealed the tie. Alex and Dejas then comes in for the extra point, and Arizona goes on to defeat Cal 10-9 in Arizona Stadium. Tell us about the big catch at the end, the big 50-yard catch. Uh, like my coach tells me all the time, when the ball is in the air, it belongs to me. And that, that's the only thing that was replaying in my head, and I just had to go up and get it. Although the Cats trailed Cal the entire game, they scored when it counted most with seven plays for 77 yards. The final and only touchdown of the game going to Jerron Kreiner. Arizona goes on to beat Cal 10-9 in Arizona Stadium with their Pac-10 opener. For Cat Nation, I'm Lisa Lane.